Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and to another video which is all about the cryptic world of aviation abbreviations. There are quite too many to cover all of them in one video, so this one will be all about the abbreviations regarding the cockpit instruments and its various displayed information. So to all aspiring flight students out there, pay attention since these abbreviations will accompany you through your whole career in the cockpit and to all my colleagues, let's see how fit you are with your abbreviations. Let's learn something and let's get started. Uh, Jeff 553, uh, who are we following on Juliet sir? Uh, the top 1%, the people who have their own airplanes. Today's video is brought to you by the Captain Joe Merch Shop. Click the link in the description box below to get your Captain Joe removed before flight key ring. You know that every true aviator needs one of these, so therefore we ship around all the world. We accept all types of payments. So if it's either for you, a family member, or a friend of yours who is an aviation enthusiast and you want to gift them one of those, go to the link in the description box below and get one of these babies. They're just kick ass cool and they're red. <laughs> ADF the Automatic Direction Finder, a radio navigation device which works great in combination with an NDB. The ADIRS, the Air Data Inertial Reference System, processes and provides, for example, data concerning speed, angle of attack and altitude, as well as inertial reference like the position and attitude. AFS, the Auto Flight System, now the core system when it comes to autonomous flying. It includes, for example, the subsystem everyone knows as the autopilot. Alpha Hotel or Alpha India, the artificial horizon or attitude indicator. Alpha Lima Tango stands for altimeter and it displays the altitude. Alpha slash Tango Hotel, the auto throttle. Now once activated, it adjusts the thrust or throttles autonomously. Bravo slash Alpha, is the bank angle around the longitudinal axis. The CDI, the course deviation indicator, it is used to determine your lateral position relative to a course to or from a VOR station, for example. CDU, the control and display unit, the pilot's interface for making inputs into the aircraft's computer. Charlie Kilo Papa Tengo is short for cockpit. Delta Golf is the directional gyro or better known as your heading indicator. The ECAM is the Airbus's electronic centralized aircraft monitoring, the two center displays. AFIS, the generic term for the electronic flight instrument system which make up the modern glass cockpits. EGT, the exhaust gas temperature. ICAS, the engine indication and crew alerting system with which information is displayed on the center screens of a Boeing, so comparable to the ECAM on Airbus models. ENG is short for the engine. FD stands for flight directors, the little graphical aid in front of the artificial horizon. FMC, the flight management computer, is a system based on a database that allows the programming of routes, SIDs and STARS and is part of the FMS, the flight management system, which contains many subsystems like the FMC and other navigation systems. GPS is of course short for the global positioning system. GPWS, the ground proximity warning system. Some aircraft are nowadays equipped with the more enhanced version, the EG, <laughs> EGPWS. A GS is your ground speed. Hotel Delta Golf is short for heading. HUD is the head-up display which can be found in the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, for example. India Alpha Sierra is your indicated airspeed which can always be found on the left-hand side of your basic T. LNAV stands for lateral navigation. MCDU, the multi-purpose control and display unit, which again is an interface to make inputs into the FMS. It contains of an LCD screen and a keyboard. N1 is the low pressure spool speed. N2 is the high pressure spool speed. NAV is always in general short for navigation. 
ND is the navigation display, OBS, the omni bearing selector, which is the turning knob to set the course line on the CDI. PFD is the primary flight display. Q&H represents the altimeter setting in which the pressure reference is set according to the MSL, the mean sea level. RMI, the radio magnetic indicator, is a radio compass used for navigation towards NDBs. It's included in the ADF. Sierra Papa Delta is short for speed. Sierra Tango Delta stands for standard, another altimeter setting which is used above specific transition altitudes where altitudes become flight levels. TAS is your true airspeed. TCAS is the traffic alerting collision and avoidance system. Tango Hotel Romeo stands either for thrust or throttle, both share the same abbreviation. TOGA, the takeoff slash go around button is mounted on the thrust levers and automatically applies the takeoff thrust or full power when pressed prior to takeoff or to perform a go around. VHF is short for a very high frequency, the spectrum of short range radio frequencies. VNAV stands for vertical navigation. Victor slash Sierra is your vertical speed, also called the climb or descent rate, which is displayed on the VSI, the vertical speed indicator. And last but not least, we have a Whiskey X-Ray Romeo, which is the weather radar, which shows graphical information and is mostly displayed on the ND. That's it for today. Feel free to share interesting or funny abbreviations in the comments below. And if you have any more questions about the abbreviations regarding the cockpit and its instruments or some other aviation related questions, please be sure to check out my other videos or ask in the comment section for the chance to have your question answered in a future video. Thank you very much for your time. Here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. And follow my Instagram account, check. And don't forget to get your Captain Joe remove you for flight keyring in the description box below. You'll get directly to the shop and you can get one of those babies. We ship out worldwide. We accept any payment and it's a really cool gift. And you know that every true aviator has one of those. Or if you just want to get them for a family friend, you name it, we'll send it. <laughs> Don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best. See you next week. You're Captain Joe.